The question is that the motion be agreed to. I call a member for Bradfield. Yeah, yeah. Mr Deputy Speaker, I'm pleased to rise to speak on this motion proposed by the member for Melbourne uh, that there ought to be a royal commission into the question of the allegations which have made, been made concerning the Reserve Bank of Australia and its subsidiaries. Mr Deputy Speaker, the issue before the House this evening is not whether serious allegations have been raised about the conduct of individuals uh, involved with the Reserve Bank or its subsidiaries. It's true that serious allegations have been raised. The issue, Mr Deputy Speaker, is not whether the Reserve Bank or Australia, of Australia or its subsidiaries should comply with the law. Of course they ought to comply with the law, be that in Australia or in any other jurisdiction around the world in which that organisation, its subsidiaries or its officials or executives are operating. The issue is not, Mr Deputy Speaker, whether there is a need for this matter to be investigated. If allegations of this degree of seriousness have been made and have been reported, then clearly there is a need for them to be investigated. The issue is not whether on this side of the House we take this matter very seriously. Clearly we do take this matter very seriously, and as the House has already been informed, the member for Moncrief has been assiduous in pursuing this matter through the House Economics Committee, asking a number of questions about it, because it does raise a very serious question of public interest. The issue is not whether the Reserve Bank of Australia is a major economic institution in this country. Of course the Reserve Bank of Australia is an institution of the very first importance to economic management and to the economic security that Australians rightly expect their government to provide. The issue before the House, which is encapsulated in the motion that we are considering, Mr Deputy Speaker, is a far more narrow and precise issue. It is this. What is the right process to investigate and to pursue the allegations which have been made? As the House is well aware, this matter is being investigated by the Australian Federal Police. I emphasise that on this side of the House we make no comment about the merits of that process and, of course, all individuals involved are entitled to the presumption of innocence. I simply make the point that there is a process being carried on as we speak by a federal government agency, the Australian Federal Police, in relation to the allegations which have been made. And so therefore, against that backdrop, Mr Deputy Speaker, the question before this House tonight is a very simple one, a very clear one. Is there a case to overlay that process, which is presently underway, with an entirely new and separate process, the process embodying and involving a royal commission? Mr Deputy Speaker, a royal commission ought not to be set up lightly. There is a high bar which must be met before any government should commence to establish a royal commission. There must be a view, there must be a demonstrated view, that the existing mechanisms for investigating the matter are inadequate. There must be a justification, there must be a basis for granting the coercive powers which royal commissions typically have. Royal commissions typically have the capacity to deal with witnesses in a way which denies them many rights of procedural fairness that are available to a witness in an ordinary judicial proceeding. And if you are to set that higher standard, Mr Deputy Speaker, if you are to establish a body with these out-of-the-ordinary powers, you need to demonstrate that there is a case to do that and that the established processes are not sufficient, are not adequate to deal with the allegations which have been made. You have to do more than say there are serious questions which need to be investigated here. You have to demonstrate that the existing processes of investigation, which, as the House is aware, involve the Australian Federal Police, are not adequate. Order. And the simple point I make Order. 